So here we are with some tips on the whip, including how to do the basic whip. And then we have some other variations. We love variations on whips, so let's jump right in. Great, so uh, the whip, what we started off with first in this class was with the, the simple whip. So the simple whip looks like this in seven, eight, and a one, and a two, three, and a four, five, and a six, seven, eight. Again, it's a one, two, three, and a four, five, six, seven, eight. So to break it down, it's like a right side pass for our leaders. So the footwork is like this. I'm going to go backwards on one, and then I like to do a J lead between one and two. It's like I'm looking down, and it's like a, I'm drawing a J. So it's like this, it's a one and then two. I like crossing in front on two. There are options to cross behind, but we tend to a lot of the time cross in front because it brings me closer to my follower. If my follower was traveling super fast, then I might have to step backwards because they're so quick. So we're going a one and a two, catching the followers back and then slowing them down with gooey stretchiness. Then I'm going three, turning around slowly and four, placing the foot here. And now we need to have that elasticity. Just like when we start on six and a one, we're doing the same thing here with our three and a four, sorry, and five, six, seven, eight. So it's a one, two, three, and it's on four here. So four, five, six, seven, and an eight. And then for our followers, we had going forward, we can do it together if you want to. Yes, we had going forwards on one. And then you're going to have some rotation somewhere between one and two, where it's going to be turning your hips for two. Continue going back for three. And, and then followers, a point for you is to place the elbow uh, around the follower's arm, to around the leader's arm to create some connection. I'll show you here. Like this. We do recommend also that the follower has it on the inside here, because if there's a turn, they can punch across and turn. Or if I turn them the other way, you'll go that way. So sometimes when it's here, it gets stuck. So we're here there on three and. Uh, so we were here on three and, three and, and then placing it on four, and then five, six, seven, and uh, eight. And again, for one, two, three, and uh, four, five, six, seven, and uh, eight. Now together, we do a few here, and we're gonna go, and one, two, three, and a four, five, six, seven, and eight. The whip is a beautiful move, eight counts. So now what we can do in the whip, so we can change the beginning, the entry into it, or the exit. So we changed it and we added an inside entry. So I was kind of like looking at my watch or, and prepping uh, one side back like this. It's a one. Two, we're now doing an inside uh, entry, which is like a right side pass for three and. Then we go forward on four, five, and a six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and a four, five, six. It feels nice to do. So lead is what I'm doing here. I personally like to do this. I like to add a little bit of a prep there. So I'm going one, as I step on my left foot, I'm allowing that prep to happen here, which is making the follower do the same thing here here and um, it's a lovely move to do uh so for the followers it's like it's a bit like a right side pass as i do this so let's go this way around actually to show how a wonderful camera person here so we're going one two three and four five and a six seven eight and all one two three and a four five six seven eight and then we changed it we gave it an inside exit which made it quite fun. So for the inside exit, we go, everything's normal at the beginning. One, two, three, and, and then on four, I redirect my follower, but now I step out to the side for five and they pass through as Raha is doing expertly here. Six and then seven and eight. From this side, it's gonna be, uh, oh, sorry, from this side, I think we did it from the other side. Here we go, from this side, we went, oh, one, two, three, and four, step out to the side for five, Six, seven, eight. And from that, we can add walks. So the music is making you feel like doing some walks. We can do some walks. So uh, let's do it from this side. So it's under one, two, three, and four. I can walk along with my foot. 
and then we can anchor when we're ready for our next for our next pattern. So whips are really cool. Where eight count moves. So ingredients of a whip. A whip needs to, the follower needs to pass the leader twice to make it a whip. So as long as he's passing me, to, uh, the follower is passing me twice. There's one, and there's two. That's a whip. But we can do we can do this as well. Look, one, two, three, and four. Then we can do a rock and go. Bring the follower back. We could class that as a whip as well because the follower is passing me twice. So have fun with those whips. It's very important on three and for us to have this leverage moment. Like when we, we do this on six and or one in our West Coast swing. It's very important to do the same thing in our whip on three and and then redirect on four. Or in my case, I'll change that again. So we went three and and then I can step across for four, five, six, seven, eight. Was there anything else we mentioned? There's lots of other whips, but we'll be maybe coming up with some more on that. And uh, thank you all for your help. Yeah. So there we are, that's today's tips for today. Uh, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and on the icon with the bell and the help to get notified when videos are available. And I'm Philippe Barros. I'm a West Coast swing dancer with influences as well in other styles like ballet, contemporary, hip hop, house and more. And in case you don't know, I teach one-to-one -one private lessons and I love helping people one-to-one, -one uh, helping them move forward in their West Coast swing. That can be in person or online, watching videos, giving feedback or working with you in person. I love movement and the body and helping people improve at West Coast Swing. So feel free to contact me below. And I also have a tip jar and uh, all money there is gratefully received. So if you're getting value from these videos and you feel like you'd like to show appreciation in the form of a donation you're very welcome to but there's no no um it's not mandatory of course so but if you do then that'll be great gratefully received so i'd like to encourage you by saying enjoy your dancing and don't forget to let your unique style shine <laughs> <laughs>